Okay, everyone. So now we are making the program of MDI forms. So first of all, here we are going on the name and right click, and then afterward add. And here we are adding a form which is Windows form. We can see that this is Windows form and form 2.vb. This is the name we have given. Click on add. So here we can see that there are two forms. Form 1 we are assuming is a parent. Form 2 we are assuming is a child. To represent it is a child, I am giving a label here. So here in the form 2 we are saying it is the child. So here we are mentioning that it is MDI child. Now after clicking back, so we can see that this is the MDI child. Now afterward, we want to provide the name here. Let us suppose that this form 2, I want to provide the name, let's say Ankit. I'm giving my name here. So click. This is a child form. Now we are going on the form 1. So here, double click on the form 1. We can see that this is our main form and this is the parent. So here I am giving the name, let's say Verma. So we are assuming that Verma is the parent of Ankit. Now here we want that the child should be the part of parent. So now what we are doing, we are taking the manuscript from here. So from the toolbox, we are dragging and dropping the manuscript. So here in the manuscript, we are adding one menu item. So here in this menu item, we are giving the name. So from the text property, we are giving that child. So here clicking on the child will active the child. So this is one menu item we have created. So double click on that. Now here we can see that this is the coding of tool strip menu item underscore click. So now here what we are doing, the form two, this form two is the child. Now here, I want this form 2 inside the form 1. So what I am doing inside the form 1 coding here inside the child we are writing dim that means declare n as new. New means it is a object form 2. So we are creating the object of form 2 here. So this n is now the object of form 2. So form 2 is having one object. With the help of this n we can call. Afterward we are writing me. Me means the current form. We are talking about the form 1. So form 1 is MDI container equal to true. That means is I am a container. Means am I a father? Yes, I am a container. I am a MDI container. Now afterward n dot mdi parent will be equal to me. So who is the parent of n? And we know that n is the object of form 2. So form 2 parent is who? Me. We are the parent. So form 1 is the parent of form 2. Then afterward n dot show. So here we are going to show this. Now we are going to understand that how this code is working. So here we are having the form 1, which is Verma. Here we have created one menu. Now we are having one more form 2, which is MDI child. And inside the form 1 in child, we have done the coding that form 2 object is created. And we are saying that I am a container, means form 1 is a container. And who is the father of form 2? Me, means form 1 is the father of form 2. And now show the form 2. So we are running the code. Now here we can see that this is the form 1. Now click on the child. So you can see that inside the child we are having the form 2. So here this is the MDI. Whenever we are having the form inside the form that is called the MDI. So here this verma is the MDI parent and inside is the MDI child. Child can be minimized or it can be maximized, not a problem, but child cannot cross the parent. So that's why it is the MDI child. And if I cross this, then there will be no effect on the parent. If I'm crossing this, you can see that parent is as it is. But if I cross the parent, everything will be stopped. So this is how whenever we are having parent-child relation, 
that is called the MDI parent and the MDI child. So this is the parent clicking on the child. We can see that child is there. There can be one or more child inside a parent. So this is how we can make the program of MDI forms.